Never have I ever played a card game like this with my coworkers. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tammy here with Chris, Lori, and Jen, hey. and we're gonna demonstrate how to play Never Have I Ever from I and I. It is, as the tagline says, the game of poor life decisions. And before we start, you should know that this is an adult game. It is definitely not for children and should not be played in front of children. <laughs> it comes with 485 Never Have I Ever play cards and 65 rule cards. Each play card states something that you may or may not have done in life, and more often than not, it's something you may regret having done or at least admitting that you've done. Examples range from the awkward to the sexual to the embarrassing to the illegal. We're going to play around now to show you what we mean. To start, each player has 10 play cards. One player starts the round by choosing a rule card to read aloud, and then all players are going to do what the rule card says. So our rule card says, own it. Everyone picks a play card that they are guilty of and places it on the table face up. I will decide which card is the poorest life decision and the person who played it keeps it. Jen has created a fake Twitter or Facebook account to stalk another person. What? 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 No. 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 I mean. Lori has tried to move something with her mind. I thought I had special powers as a kid. I didn't. And Chris has accidentally been the first person to tell a kid oh, Santa Claus wasn't real. No. <laughs> okay, well, I have to say, I would say Chris's is the worst. Yes. Even though so, they spell Claus wrong. <laughs> they spell Santa Claus wrong. So he gets to keep his, and that's a good thing because the winner is the first player to get 10 cards. This game is for four or more players and would probably be really great with a large group. However, you should know your audience. The game is best suited for open-minded people who don't get easily offended by what other people may have done. That's us! <laughs> You'll also want to play with people who are not afraid to share things about themselves. There are definitely some racy cards in this game that we can't even read for this review, so you should be aware of that before you play. Each time you play, you'll have a chance to relive life's funny, embarrassing, and awkward moments with your friends. What may have seemed like a terrible idea at the time now earns you points and could make you the winner of the game. We found a big part of what makes this so engaging is that players typically wind up explaining themselves if they're guilty of something on a play card, and the stories themselves are a lot of fun to hear. And again, as we said earlier, it's a very adult game recommended for ages 17 and up. For more information on this and other adult party games, visit us at TTPM or subscribe to our YouTube channel to see new reviews every day.